Hey guys, welcome back. So we've got a new trailer to check out today for The Last of Us. This is The Last of Us Part 2 official story trailer. Just dropped about 3 or 4 hours ago. I'm really pumped to see this game and honestly I cannot wait. So there was some controversy around this one. Somebody actually got a hold of the game and, and released some of it. Spoilers galore. It's all over the internet which is a real tragedy because, because what Naughty Dog is making with this franchise is nothing short of spectacular. The last game was just stunning and I cannot wait to see this game in action. What we've seen of it so far in the trailers have, has been exceptional. So for somebody to actually leak some of it online is just absolutely heartbreaking. So much hard work has been put into it. And now it's just out there for the masses to check out. It's really, really sad. I've stayed away from all spoilers. I don't want to know anything. I'm holding back. I just want to get the game and play it and enjoy it for what it is. Now, even some of my friends who have seen some spoilers have decided they're not going to get the game on the grounds of what the spoilers revealed. Now, I don't know why. I didn't press or ask what his decision was in regards to that. But it really does kind of concern me that a lot of people might feel the same way. So if they decide not to pick up this game because of the spoilers and the developers actually did release a statement saying, you know, there's more to the game than what you realize. But for some people to have that decision swayed based on what they've seen in regards to the spoilers could really affect sales and thus the company and thus more games in the franchise and well other games in development as well. So it's really unfortunate that this has happened. But in any case, I'm going to check out the story trailer now because I'm still excited for this game and I think it's going to be awesome. So if you're ready, we're going to dive in and check it out. Are you ready? Yeah, you are. Three, two, one. Am I ready? All right. Three, two, one. Go. Peggy 18. Peggy 18. I know, man. I know These headphones are mine are so good. Captured on the PS4 Pro. I wish things were different. Ellie and Joel. Ellie. Damn. But they ain't. So beautifully done. Naughty dog. I love those guys. They're incredible. Tomorrow. God, this, this looks morning, amazing. We'll be leaving Jackson vulnerable. So they and terrifying. Away with us. How'd you find us? Shit. This is gonna be so violent. You can't stop this. I won't. Ah, oh, she's sewing herself up. Feel the tension. God, it looks so photorealistic. I have to finish it. Oh, bloody hell. Crikey. We could have killed you. Maybe you should have. Damn. That looks tense as hell. June. Oh, I'm getting this. It looks incredible. Are you kidding me? Curse those assholes that leaked this. Honestly, what a what a slap in the face for all developers everywhere, honestly. And to the fans. I mean some of us get on the internet and we don't actively seek out spoilers, but sometimes they just present themselves and you can't unsee what you see, right? So it spoils everyone. I mean, even scrolling through YouTube, some of the thumbnails are quite explicit in the content that they're revealing in regards to the spoilers of The Last of Us Part Two. I mean, it's very irresponsible for people doing these uploads and putting a thumbnail with a big blatant spoiler on top of it. It's like, what the hell? I've not seen anything too revealing, but I have seen some incriminating thumbnails and I've just like scrolled through real quick so I don't even go near it. I hate spoilers so much in regards to my movies, games, books, anything 
spoils are just malicious. So when somebody goes out of the way to spoil something for you, like I do a lot of reaction content on my channel for anime, uh, Attack on Titan, case in point, very popular show, a lot of twists and turns in that series. And I would have comments from people for no other reason but to be a dick, reveal stuff to me in the comments for whatever reason. I mean, it just breaks my heart that people are like that. I mean, they have that in them to just wreck the fun for other people just because. So for this to happen to The Last of Us Part 2, which looks exceptional, really is quite disgusting. And I don't know what these people were thinking. Like, views on their channel, I, I don't know, but... It's heartbreaking that all that hard work has just been laid waste. So, if you're like me and you're just avoiding all spoilers and you're still just looking forward to getting this game, well done. Proud of you. This looks good. It looks like it's going to be based solely on Ellie doing a solo journey for most of it. And it looks pretty brutal. We didn't see a lot of the clickers in this one, like just one or two shots. It's mostly to do with the human interaction, right? Everybody's in this terrible time period. Resources are scarce. And much like The Walking Dead, which I just love, great series. The zombies and the clickers in this point aren't the biggest threat. It's other people, because people are dicks. These are the people that spoil shit. <laughs> this is, that's exactly who they are. So... Looks like Ellie's going to be going on this pretty heart-wrenching journey. She's got to get pretty brutal in her takedowns. I'm excited for it because I love good stories and I love what Naughty Dog do. They're, they're a fantastic company. They really are. Based in Australia too, I think. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think down below of this game. Are you keen for it? Have you been exposed to spoilers? And for God's sake, do not put any spoilers in the comments. <laughs> oh, boy, don't do that because that'll be... That'll be That'd be goddamn disgraceful. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.